This is an N-Engine breakdown for the Dementor summoning project. The main focus of this project is shading and effects. I used Megascans and Paragon assets and went for a 2D look so I don't have to spend time texturing or modeling. I didn't use any static lights or dynamic lights or emissive materials, no baked light maps, no GI, no light propagation volumes. Everything is happening in the post process. I'm getting the information from each of the materials in the scene by sampling a near mesh distance field uh, gradient, giving that a red uh, color. So as you can see here, uh, this sphere has mesh distance fields. So each material in the scene, each object with the mesh distance field light function is drawing a gradient towards the mesh distance fields. I had to use this technique because there is no other way to get lighting information in the post process in a deferred rendering pipeline other than writing a shader and compile the, the whole engine of course. Since all it is is just a gradient, it's really optimized. But what are the cons? What are we losing? Well, it's not accurate. The light direction, intensity, and radius are constant for all lights, and you cannot do shadows or reflections, and you have to add this function inside each material in the scene. But hey, it reacts to vertex animation textures, so that's good. And if we go into the material, you could see I used the same function in the base color. Another issue I faced using this technique is that I couldn't use any transparency, which means no splashy UV banning effects for this one. And I had to simulate the centipede offline in Houdini and import a point cache since there is no other way to make it react to the environment and be using GPU sim. A GPU sim needs a mesh distance field information about the whole environment, but I'm only using it on the candles. This is Severog from the Paragon assets provided by Epic. I took his animations and mixed them together in Houdini using kin effects to create the movement I needed. He had a weapon and a long cloth that I didn't want, so I baked a mask and uh, plugged that into the opacity to get rid of them. And plugged the mesh distance field lighting function in the base color uh, so that he'll react to the lighting as well. I used a material parameter collection inside most of the materials to be able to control the intensity of the effects in sequencer. I added an inverted lighting vignette effect, a warp effect, a blur effect, and I'm able to control the intensity of the lighting as well. And in sequencer, I can keyframe these effects to create the mood I want. I wrote a more in-depth breakdown, which you can find on my ArtStation or Gumroad. I provided some of the project files as well. I cannot share everything since I used Megascans. That's all for this video, and I hope you can use some of this knowledge to make 2021 more beautiful.